Guys, in this video, this is going to be the update number two of the F-150 Overland build. I'm Cody, this is the Simple Instinct channel, and thank you for watching. Alright, so the bed is most of what's happened since the last video. In that time, I picked up a Diamondback cover. This is the SE, and I got KB Voodoo high-rise crossbars. These ones are the steel, not the aluminum. This is the same high lift jack from the sport track as well as the same mounts. I just traded the U-bolts for straight bolts to get it on the KB Voodoo crossbars. Up there is the same Tapui Kukanam Sky. That is a three person tent. And up there, that's just a new cover. So I ordered a new cover and it came with the zipper part that goes around the tent that stays on there when you unzip the cover, which was great. Uh, not a huge fan of the giant Thule logo that's up there now. I would, I would have thought they would have had a bigger Tapui logo with a little Thule logo, but whatever. I guess uh, that's what happens when you buy a company. You gotta come in with big dick energy and let everyone know that you own that shit now. Whatever. Okay. All right, guys. Here in the back, if you saw the video, I'll, which I'll put a card right here. I built a dog seat platform for the F-150. Some updates to it. I had to put down some flex seal. So this is just a flex seal you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. Uh, it's just to rubberize it so it makes it so Ellie doesn't slide around when she's back here. Her paws could not get any grip on the canvas material. So when she's standing looking out the window and we're driving down the road taking corners or evading stupid drivers. She was having a problem just being able to stand up. So, flex seal, nice rubber material, non-skid. Works out great. Also putting beer and groceries back here. Stops from sliding around. That's also been nice. Additionally, I took the PVC pipe back off of here and wrapped the canvas material around it and then put it back on just for aesthetics, I think it looks much better. I was going to paint it, but I was worried the paint was just going to rub off on everything. So, I didn't go that route. Also, you guys are wondering, the strap has been working out great. I haven't had any issues with this moving around, even when braking kind of hard or dealing with idiot drivers. Moving along. Okay guys, so I think I got everything covered in this video. I am planning on doing a road trip soon and I didn't want to start shooting those and having those come out and not talking about what's going on. So to avoid any panic or any questions or any confusion about all of a sudden I have all this stuff, I want to push this video out. Something I might have missed between this video and the last video, the first F-150 update, uh, I have Blue Ridge Overland gear, visor organizers inside the truck. I don't think I actually talked about those in the last video, but they were also in the sport track, so they're nothing new per se. Uh, something I probably skipped over, I'm not sure, but there is a Line-X bed liner in here. I did do that. Uh, you might have been able to see that when I showed footage of the Built Right Industries organizer and or the photo. I'm going to have to just look and see how that comes out because it's, it's starting to try to get dark on me. Guys, I'm going to put links to all the products that I use down in the description as well as in the description. I'm going to link to the page that's on the blog that is dedicated to the F-150 build. That way, instead of rerunning through my videos or trying to figure out where I said something, you can go there and see it in Word format. There will be pictures. There will be links to everything. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I bought all this crap by myself, nobody helped me, so no affiliation. If I think something's cool, it's because I, I did a bunch of research, trust me, because I buy once, cry once, not buy like six different times and try to figure it out. No, I don't have that much money to just willy-nilly buy stuff, so if I do my research, I figure out what's going to work the best. If you guys like my setup, these are vetted products, and you know, like I said, I'm not with anybody but if i'm using it it's probably good to go also before you guys go make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you didn't know the like button turns blue when you hit it
give it a try. And then subscribe. Because we're gonna be doing cool stuff shortly. Maybe. <laughs> if the rain can stop and the coronavirus and I don't know, India's fighting China all of a sudden in a Himalayan border and their their soldiers don't have guns. Who knows? Maybe we'll all be nuked to oblivion by then. But I'll see you in the next video if not.